So now we will discuss about the some natural phenomenon due to sunlight. So sunlight when it falls on different surfaces it will exhibit some natural phenomena. The first natural phenomena that can be observed due to sunlight is rainbow. Rainbow. So what is this rainbow? A rainbow is a combined effect of reflection, refraction and dispersion. It is the combined effect of refraction reflection and dispersion but these combined effects should be taken place inside the spherical water droplets inside the spherical water droplets so whenever rain was there after the rain this atmospheric layers were filled with the moisture nothing but the group combination of the water droplets of the rain so let us assume a spherical water droplet whenever sunlight touches the surface of the spherical water droplet this water has a denser medium it is a denser medium because of that light will refract so whenever this refraction takes place different sunlight rays refracts like this whenever the angle of incidence of the sunlight suitably suggests the critical angle So what is the meaning of critical angle? We know that at which angle of incidence the corresponding angle of refraction will become 90 degrees that is said to be critical angle. So in such cases this critical angle satis means if this angle of incidence satisfies the critical angle these light rays will go under the multiple reflections or internal reflections within the spherical water droplets. That's why this rainy water drop is appear to be in a particular color so whenever these light rays are emitting out of the spherical droplets like this it emits the natural radiation of the sunlight where it is incident so what is the functioning here incident light refraction if the incident angle is satisfies the critical angle it occupies or it uh, emerges like a total internal reflection and emerges out this is the incident ray this is emerged ray such like that the water droplets which are at a particular angle of incidence they will occupy the particular color of the wavelength like all red all yellow all green like that so such like that uh, we can observe the rainbow now we will see the angles which were corresponding to the different wavelengths in the sunlight. So if this is the spherical water droplet, if light enters at an angle, means incident at an angle, when it enters to the spherical denser medium like water droplet, the possibility is a separation of wavelengths. That is the important phenomenon here. It is separation of wavelengths. So whenever these wavelengths were separated due to the denser media, while this light is coming out, the same wavelength will be coming out from the water droplet. That's why this water droplet is appeared as the wavelength which is emerged out of it. 
if these type of water droplets are formed in a row after the rain that's why this entire row is appear to be in a single color that's why rainbow is a uh, seems to be like a pattern of different color bands red green yellow like that so whenever it is there how much angle of deviation will be there it differs from observer to observer but a human observer which is having healthy eye the angle is 40 degrees to 42 degrees deviation will be there from the natural sunlight to the ejected emergent ray but red color deviates the less red color less deviation that's why it is appeared as a brightest first band but violet deviates more such like that we can uh, observe the uh, rainbow formation so incident light refraction through the refraction uh, the separation of wavelengths takes place that's why internally dispersion also takes place and that dispersal light will come out so like this a combinational effect we can observe in the sunlight so the next interesting natural phenomena due to sunlight is scattering of light so when a sun emits the light ray these light rays will has to cross the atmospheric particles when it is crossing the atmospheric particles these particles uh, are has some density and it takes the some uh, collision takes place between the particles to the sunlight that's why this sunlight is seems to be changes its direction so the sudden change in the direction of sunlight this is called scattering of light that means the sudden change in the direction of sunlight due to the atmospheric refraction is called scattering but according to one scientist view his name is Rayleigh Jeans these are the two scientists the scattering cross section is directly proportional to 1 by lambda power 4 that means scattering cross section is inversely proportional to fourth power of the wavelength of the color that means wavelength is more scattering is less that's why red color is appeared less time at the time of sunrise and sunset red scatters less but violet scatters more so if you observe this phenomena at the time of sunrise and sunset the sky appeared as red so because that red color is appeared for a very short interval of time so according to the calculations by the Rayleigh genes scattering law the scattering cross section is less for red color which is the highest wavelength in the visible light section that means the remaining all time the sky should appear as violet color but according to our eye sensitivity violet color is only observable when it is at the long distance that's why the first nearest color that can be observed by the human eye is blue so the mid time between the sunrise and sunset the most period the sky appears as blue so this color transformation at the time of sunrise sunset mid time mid day these all are under the application of scattering of light it is due to the atmospheric refraction so now we will discuss about optical instruments 
what is the meaning of optical instruments optical instruments are nothing but the devices which can respond for the optical phenomenon of light that means when a light is incident on such instruments they will respond and after the response they will exhibit some different phenomenon of light like reflection refraction magnification linear magnification angular magnification and uh, visibility of the image these all are the natural phenomenon of light so such instruments which can exhibit the natural phenomenon of light under the application of the light or incident of light on it those are said to be optical instruments so in our syllabus the major instruments that we have is first one is human eye second one is telescope third one is simple microscope fourth one is compound microscope among the four in the human eye we should discuss about the structure of the human eye and the functioning of the each and every segment in the human eye and uh, one more the defects and corrections of the human eye defects in the vision next telescope construction and working principle simple microscope construction and working principle compound microscope construction and working principle so by explaining these four uh, we can discuss about the optical instruments very easily so optical instruments ante entante ye instruments aithe light dani meda incident ayinappudu aa light yokka different phenomenals ni observe chesi exhibit chestayo vaatini optical instruments antaru manakunna syllabus lo human eye telescope simple microscope compound microscope ee four unnai human eye structure uses of every segment defects in the vision correction that is the content టెలిస్కోప్ కి టెలిస్కోపిక కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ వర్కింగ్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ సింపుల్ మైక్రోస్కోప్ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ వర్కింగ్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ అలాగే కాంపౌండ్ మైక్రోస్కోప్ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ వర్కింగ్ ప్రిన్సిపల్ సో ఈ ఫోర్ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తే మనం ఈ యొక్క ఆప్టికల్ ఇన్స్ట్రుమెంట్స్ కూడా కన్క్లూడ్ చేయవచ్చు నా విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ది హ్యూమన్ ఐ ఇట్స్ స్ట్రక్చర్ అండ్ సెగ్మెంట్స్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ద స్ట్రక్చర్ ఆఫ్ హ్యూమన్ ఐ సో వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఇంపార్టెంట్ సెగ్మెంట్స్ ఇన్ ద హ్యూమన్ ఐ వెన్ ఎవర్ light falls on the eye first it touches the surface this is the curved surface and this curved surface is similar to the convex lens so the functioning of the convex lens is a converging lens light rays will converge whenever the light incident on this then it converges and it enters to this part this dotted part this dotted part contains aqueous humor that means uh, when we get emotion the some water will come out in a form of tears from our eye it is nothing but the compression and vibrations expansions and vibrations of the human eye based on the emotions so because this human eye a segment contains uh, aqueous humor this aqueous humor that is nothing but the liquid which is a denser medium because of that light will enter with such an angle of incidence and touches the pupil what is the pupil pupil is exactly middle point of the crystalline lens because light touches the lens upper surface and aqueous humor converges the light rays and touches the crystal lens the middle segment of the crystalline lens is pupil pupil doesn't contains any cones and rods every segment in the eye contains cones rods muscles nerves but pupil which is the central segment of the crystalline lens doesn't contain any cones and rods that means uh, there is no part or nothing is available to absorb the light rays which was incident from the outer source because of that people will appeared as a dark zone the 
the light ray which passes through the people and uh, this ciliary muscles which expands and compress the crystalline lens based on the position of the object and the light ray which is passing through the people will uh, touches the retina retina acts like a screen to see the image retina is a screen and this retina connected to optic nerve so what is this optic nerve optic nerve it converts the light rays into electromagnetic signals and this optic nerve is connected to the brain then our brain brain can sense the objects which was uh, connected through the or passing through the optic nerve in form of electromagnetic waves so because of the speed is limited in the electromagnetic waves range we can able to observe and recognize the object within the fraction of seconds not taking the much time so what are the other segments and other important segments of the human eye iris iris is the color pigment of the human eye this iris is the color pigment of the human eye and this is cornea the cornea is the upper surface of the human eye which gives the protection to the sensitive parts so what are the differing function in crystalline lens which is readily available to the human eye uh, the light to be um, exposed on it and this crystalline lens is covered with ciliary muscles this ciliary muscles uh, expands and compresses uh, with respect to the different positions of the object this expansion and compression whenever this ciliary muscles compress the size of the crystalline lens will be decreases when the size decreases its focal length is also decreases when the ciliary muscles expands automatically the size of the crystalline lens will increase and focal length of the lens will increase so the adjustment self adjustment of the focal length of the eye lens are nothing but the crystalline eye lens is kept said to be power of accommodation what is the definition of the power of accommodation power of accommodation is defined as the self adjustment of the focal length of the crystalline eye lines with the help of ciliary muscles with respect to the position of object in front of the eye if suppose if any object which is placed very near to the human eye like this take an example it is very difficult to observe the object because i get strained because this is close to the eye lens eye lens uh, uh, only able to focus a small part nothing but the focal length decreases at that time when an object is placed near to the eye lens muscles compressed as well as it compress the size of the eye lens also when it is moving away from me then automatically muscles expands relax takes the relaxedness with respect to the position of object and focus focal length of the crystalline eye lens also will increase so the humor does the work of converging which controls the crystalline eye lens the free movement of the eye lens pupil is the exact middle part of the crystalline eye lens iris is the color pigment or color segment of the human eye cornea is a protector of the human eye structure this black coated part is retina acts like a screen and this retina is connected to optic nerve and these optic nerves are connected to the brain such like that the functioning of the human eye takes place this is an ideal condition means we are assuming a healthy eye means eye of a healthy person sometimes there will be a possibility in the defect in the vision means uh, the persons may not be able to identify the objects very clearly this is a, this inability to observe the objects to identify the object uh, through the vision is called defects of vision about the human eye these defects are classified into many ways now we will discuss all those